Uh, hey everyone, uh, this is part two of the Docker on M1 series. In the first part, I showed that a single Docker container can be spun up on the latest Docker general release on the M1 MacBook Pro. Um, in this video, I'm going to expand on that and spin up a bunch more containers and show you all how the machine handles um, the load in terms of CPU and memory usage. Uh, so specifically, I'm going to have Activity Monitor open and I'm going to pin uh, the load on each CPU on the top right so that you all can see um, yeah, what happens when I spin up containers. Uh, Alright, so the first thing I did was to grab a docker-compose.yaml file from the Docker uh, documentation. Um, and what this file does is it describes a bunch of containers that uh, we would spin up um, with a single command. So there's an app, there's a database. Very simple for now. Um, so yeah, let me just show you what that file looks like. So I'm going to go to that folder and kind of just show that to you. So there's the app and there's the database. Um, yeah, and let's run docker up dash D, docker compose up dash D to run all the containers. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna take some time. This is gonna pull down from the, uh, from Docker Hub, um, that image and looks like we ran into an error. Um, it's having some trouble finding the MySQL library. Um, so yeah, I think the next step is I'm gonna Google that to see what the issue is. And uh, all right, so let's copy this error and see what Google tells me. And looks like there's a GitHub post, support ARM64 architecture, so that's us. Um, and looks like someone added this line to their docker-compose-yaml file. So let's give that a shot and see if that works. Okay, so in the image, let's put in this platform colon Linux slash AMD64. Let's copy that and put it here. And yeah, let's run docker-compose again. Let's see if it works. Uh, all right, looks like it's able to pull that SQL library and yeah, the image is downloading now. So looks like that fixed specifically the MySQL issue. Um, and on the right, sorry, on the left, you see the uh, Docker. All right, so let's jump to a different project. So let's go to Meso Health dash Meso Infrastructure. Uh, let's clone that repo. Um, in this repo, there is a uh, sample docker file that I can copy over so I'm gonna basically do that um, and once I have that I I'm going to spin up all the containers and to give you a sense of all the different containers that are um, in this particular YAML file okay so here there's a database sorry there's an app which is a rails backend there's nginx which does some port routing there's certbot, which renews HTTPS certificates. There's a database, that's Postgres. There's Logspat, which does some logging. And there's Ouroboros, which does some updating of um, what's deployed. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's like a hefty amount of containers. So let's spin all of them up. And yeah, let's wait until this upload download part is done. And then we can uh, see and make sure that uh, all the Docker containers have been spun up. So cool, looks like I finished downloading all the images and it's creating the containers now. There we go. All right, and here's all the containers. If you run Docker PS, there's right now six containers running. All right, so I'm gonna Google for just some sample um, repo which a bunch of samples so I ended up with this github awesome dash compose I'll link this in the description and yeah I'm going to clone it and let's see there's a ton of examples so I can go let's say minecraft and let's look at the docker yaml file let's try to spin it up um, and yeah I, I don't really know what's in this minecraft yaml file but let's take a peek looks like there's um, yeah, there's probably one container. Okay, cool. So Minecraft is up now. And yeah, let's try to go to the URL. Probably doesn't work. Uh, looks like there's some issues with 
Yeah, it looks like there's some issues in the log. Uh, let's not worry too much about it. This container is up. Let's let's look for a different uh, package. So let's do Flask. Let's spin that up. It looks like that one's on port 5000. So let's spin that up. Let's see if that works. Okay, cool. Hello world. Great. Uh, let's go to a different one. Let's do Django. So let's spin that one up. And that's port 8000. So that should be available. So let's see. All right, cool. Django's working. Uh, so now we have another container up. Um, let's take a look at Prometheus Grafana. So this is like some data GUI. So let's spin that up. And it looks like I ran into some port errors. Um, someone was already using port 3000, so I changed the port there. And yeah, let's go there. Okay, I guess it doesn't work. There's some logs. Oh, there we go. It's 9090. Cool. Uh, let's spin up WordPress. All right, let's do Docker Compose up oh, for WordPress. Looks like there's some SQL error. So let's actually, um, I think I was looking at the fix for the, the, the SQL fix I had earlier. So I was making that fix for this repo. Um, so I added that platform line in and yeah, there we go. So WordPress should be up now. And yeah, let's see if that loads. So I think it's localhost 80. Ah, uh, there we go. Cool, WordPress is running. That's great. Um, yeah, so you can see all the cores on the right. Um, you can check out my activity monitor, uh, how much CPU is using, and here's the memory usage, 6.2 gigs out of eight. There's some swap used. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, I hope this was helpful for you all. Um, I think in the next video, I didn't get a chance to show this on this video, but um, the laptop's actually feeling pretty hot right now um, to the touch. It's a lot hotter than, you know, when I spun out one container. And I will find a tool that can measure temperature of the Mac. Um, and yeah, I will share those live stats with you in the next video. So um, thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions for uh, things you want to see on this channel, um, please leave a comment. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next time.